Welcome to Market Board Video. This video is about naming compounds, and this is a question that Kendra sent me. Kendra asked, when you have PBS2, why did we name them lead 4 instead of lead 2? She's confused. So let's look at this. In, an, in, an, um, in a stable uh, electrically neutral molecule or atom, the sum of the electrons given and taken have to equal 0. And lead is one of those ones that has a couple of different options. But sulfur, however, sulfur always gives two. Sulfur is right under oxygen, so sulfur is always going to give two. So we have two of these little sulfur puppies, each of them giving two. How many does lead have to take to make it balanced? Well, it has to take four. See, what you have is PB, S, and S. And this one gives a negative two. I'm, I'm sorry, this one gives two. And this one gives two, so our total is four. So that has to be a 4 on that one. And I think I just did the signs wrong. I did. Givers before takers. This one's going to take 4. These are going to give. I did it backwards again. These are going to take. This is going to give. So lead gives up 4. Sulfur, each of the sulfurs take 2. That's why we write it as lead 4 and not lead 2. And Kendra's other question was about this, what tin oxide and again, same thing, she wants to know why is it tin 4 and not tin 2. And it's for the same reason as up here. We have tin and two oxygens, okay, um, givers before takers. Each one of these is going to take 2 because oxygen takes 2, which means it's got to get it from somewhere. Where does it get it from? It gets it from tin. Tin is going to give 4. And if tin gives 4, you have to reflect that in the name. Thanks for asking the question, Kendra. If you have any other chemistry questions or any other videos you need made, please email me at nancyfoothigley at gmail.com. Thanks, and have a great day.